Hey, hey, it's Marley team. Hey, it's uh, Ricardo here. Today we're gonna see how to get all sort of different information out of Smartlead without uh, relying to the official Smartlead API that you have available over here. So one of the use cases that I wanna show you is related to this fetch campaign ma mailbox uh, statistics, which uh, is supposed to get you the uh, mailbox stats for any specific campaign. So in this way, you can monitor inbox self uh, and uh, uh, you can uh, get uh, all sort of information out of the uh, out of the inbox. Now, if we, we try to run this uh, um, this API endpoint, uh, so here's an example of an API endpoint uh, which are created uh, within Mate.com for that. We will see that this uh, API endpoint at the moment is not actually available. So we need to perform some sort of a workaround in order to get this data. And um, that's uh, what we're gonna see right now. Keep in mind, this can also be applied to other areas, such as, for example, the area related to uh, getting uh, campaign analytics on the sequence level instead of getting campaign on the uh, top level as we have over here, for example. Uh, but we will see everything uh, right now. So I'm going in a, uh, in a campaign uh, right now. And, uh, what uh, I need to do over here is I need to click on common option. I, and, uh, um, this will open up the developer option. Why we are using this, uh, um, seemingly, uh, complicated, uh, solution for, for that. Um, you have to know that there are two types of API. There's a official API, like the one that we, uh, we are using and the one that is all documented within, uh, within Smartly, within this page over here, which is API smartly.ai. So where, uh, there are all sorts of different endpoints uh, over here. And there's also an, uh, uh, an internal API, which is, uh, uh, which is used directly to get the data out of the backend and show the data um, right uh, here in the interface of SmartDate. Um, this is not uh, um, available to, to the public, uh, but, to, uh, but by looking at uh, uh, the data within, uh, um, within the network request, uh, within the different APIs in the network, we can see this data and we are able to, and uh, we are able to get this, uh, um, this data. So, here we start with these uh, uh, developer tools. We need to, uh, the, only, um, the only tab which we will need is the network tab. One thing that we have to do over here is we have to click on preserve log and disable cache. And then another thing which probably might be useful is to uh, only select the fetch H, uh, X, uh, H, R. So in this way, we only see a specific type of request that, uh, um, that the browser gets. So what we will do right now is we will uh, reload the, the page. And then when the page is reloaded, we will see uh, a lot of different uh, information over here, which might seem, um, yeah, might seem difficult to read. But uh, right now we will, uh, we will go in depth and we will check this, uh, uh, this GraphQL data, for example. So this GraphQL data is um, supposed to be this actual internal API, which is used uh, by Smartlead. And this is used for all sorts of information over here. In order to get an understanding of the API, what we can do is we can look at the payload. And uh, by looking at the payload, we have something called operation name. The operation name is something um, that um, lets you understand what the uh, actual information that you're gonna get from this API call uh, is. So in this case, we have get campaign analytics by ID, which is the operation name. And if we go into response, we can see the actual data and we can see how this data is, uh, how this data is. So by looking over here, it seems that the data is grouped by, um, is grouped by uh, week and uh, is grouped by day. So for example, if we look at, uh, um, if we look at the data from the 20, uh, 2024, 6, 24, which is this data over here, if we see here, it seems that 
this API is associated with uh, with that. So this is an exact send count, bounce count, open count, click count, and so on. So um, why am I showing this? I'm showing this because what we can do is we can take this API and then um, replicate this API into another tool such as make.com, such as uh, uh, Postman or whatever tool you are using for your uh, your application. But uh, let's see um, let's see the actual uh, email account performance. So what I will do right now is I will click uh, show email account performance. And uh, here we will have a couple of additional uh, GraphQL. And um, those are the ones that I get from here. All of them are using the same uh, operation. And if I go to response from here, I can see uh, all the different responses and I can see that uh, this is actually associated with, uh, um, with the send, with the open, with the click uh, and so on. So what, I, uh, what can I do right now? Uh, right now, uh, our end goal is to replicate this directly within a, a platform such as mate.com. So um, in order to do that, let's uh, go to, uh, let's go to make and uh, let's uh, create a, um, a request. So. What we will do here is we will create a, a request that we'll call uh, Eden API uh, get mailboxes. Okay, so um, yeah, we we have that. We need to get the information that we have from here. So we need to get the request URL. This is the request URL. We will copy this over here. Post. Uh, usually, another important thing that I haven't mentioned over here is that um, is that all these API are protected by some sort of uh, uh, authorization, and here we have the authorization. So the authorization is usually bitter plus uh, uh, the authorization ID that is present over here. So. What we will do right now is we will copy the authorization and then we will paste the authorization directly over here to um, to make into the headers. So this is the actual authorization that we have over here. Then uh, the next step that we have uh, to do over here is we need to uh, create the body. Here, uh, just to uh, help you, the body type will be a row and this will be custom and the value will be application GraphQL. GraphQL is a different way of uh, displaying the data. And um, yeah, that's the one that most servers use. So what we need to do right now is we need to copy this uh, uh, information. So here we have uh, the query information and then we have the variable information. The you can think about the query information as the actual API call and the variables are the thing that we need to change within uh, the API call. Um, in uh, the API, those are um, together. Meanwhile, here, those are actually separated. So we need to, um, we need to uh, use a GraphQL to JSON converter. So in this way, we will have um, we will have the version that can be used within Make.com. So what we do over here is we copy the uh, the value, and uh, this is the the query that we we copy. Then we will copy also the the variables, the variables which are present over here. Um, here there are two variables called offset and limit. Those are to limit our, um, yeah, limit the amount of, um, of mailboxes uh, which uh, we get. And so we, uh, we are removing that. This will give us the JSON body. What we can do right now is we can copy that and we can paste this JSON body over here and, um, parse the response equal to yes. One thing that you can do right now, uh, if you have all the information over here, is that if you want to, you can change the campaign ID over here to something dynamic so that 
for example, you get up all the campaigns, uh, you iterate through each the campaign, and then you get this uh, uh, this kind of information. So right now, for the sake of it, I will run this and uh, let's uh, see uh, if this worked correctly. So here, as you can see, we have the data, we have some results, and then uh, from here, we actually have the results which are available in the interface directly through a platform like Make. Uh, one, uh, yeah, one thing that we can also do over here is we can add a header, an additional header to um, to mention that uh, this is actually done from a um, from a browser and not from a make.com. So there are uh, no problem uh, when it comes to actually authorization and things like that. So the additional thing that uh, I will show you uh, in regards to that is the following. So let me uh, let me go here. If we go into headers, uh, we have uh, something called um, a user agent, which uh, we will copy. And uh, this is uh, only to make sure that once we um, we use this, so we are not blocked by um, we are not blocked by the uh, platform user agent. Okay, yeah. So um, as you can see here, we got uh, um, this uh, this one lead uh, mailboxes. But if we wanted to, we can also get uh, other information, such as, for example, if we want to have the sequence breakup, uh, we can again go over here and search for uh, for the sequences. This is probably not uh, the right one. Here we can also filter out at the top, so we can see. Uh, the the requests that are the the interesting ones for us. So here, as you can see, we just have uh, um, get sequence variants. Uh, um, yeah, get sequence variants is probably the one that we are looking for, or not. Okay, so um, here's the the one related to get campaign sequence analytics, for example, and we can perform the same. Uh, we can perform the same action over here. So if we um, if we copy uh, this query and then we copy the uh, the variables over here, we can also get uh, that uh, uh, that data. So uh, we go over here, we clone, we rename and uh, call get uh, uh, sequence. Uh, get uh, yeah emails campaign by sequence. We change this over here and then uh, click OK and run. And as you can see here, we actually have the uh, the information that we wanted. So here we have the the, the campaign. Uh, this is a variant label A, so this is divided by the campaign. So yeah, that is uh, um, a little bit on the technical side, but if you can use that, you can get all sort of information from, from Smart Lead, and uh, um, yeah, and uh, you don't need to rely with, to uh, all the API endpoints, and you don't need to wait for all the API endpoints to be released. So. Um, let me know if this was useful um, and uh, um, let me uh, reach out if you need any help in finding relevant information that you can also use. Hope you have an amazing day. If you like the video, uh, thumbs up, uh, share the video and uh, um, uh, have a nice day. Bye bye.